Hi, I'm Anders from Embedded Artists. Have you been thinking about artificial intelligence and machine learning and how it might be used in your product? In this video, I'm going to demonstrate Coral from Google together with our IMX 8M family of boards. I will show you that for less than 30 US dollars, you can upgrade your product, adding state-of-the-art neural network processing capability. That's an attractive proposal. This is not a general artificial intelligence and machine learning tutorial. But before continuing, I would like to put Coral on the map, what it is, where it can be used, etc. Coral is a complete toolkit to build products with local artificial intelligence. Local meaning on the device, as opposed to in the cloud on a server farm. The calculations are executed on the device. NXP and others also call this edge computing. Coral has an ecosystem of tools for programming, creating models, profiling, debugging, and deploying the finished system. At the heart, we have the Edge TPU coprocessor for accelerating neural network calculations, inferencing as it's called in machine learning terms. TPU stands for Tensor Processing Unit. Tensors are the multidimensional data arrays that neural networks perform operations on. The Edge TPU is capable of performing up to four tops, that is four trillion operations per second, consuming only half a watt per tops, so less than two watts in total at highest performance. An easy way to integrate the Edge TPU in your product is the Coral M.2 accelerator. It has a PCIe interface, and as the name gives away, it's an M.2 module. Using the Coral M.2 Accelerator can be a cheaper option than redesigning your hardware completely and adding a processor with on-chip neural network accelerator. The Edge TPU is also available as a USB dongle accelerator, perfect for processors that don't have a PCIe interface. A USB interface is fast enough for most applications anyways. Now let's turn to the software side of it. TensorFlow is an open source library for numerical computation and machine learning developed by Google. It's a comprehensive, flexible ecosystem of tools and libraries that allows you to develop and train machine learning models. TensorFlow allows you to create data flow graphs using Python. TensorFlow applications are themselves Python applications. The actual math operations on the tensors, however, are performed in math libraries, executing on Cortex cores or on dedicated hardware, like the Edge TPU. We have created a getting started document for the Coral M.2 and USB accelerators. The instructions work for our IMX 8M family of developers kits. To get a sense of the level of acceleration the Edge TPU gives, the models can be executed on both the Edge TPU and the Cortex A cores. The inference times can then easily be compared. Follow the instructions in our guide to test classification and detection of pictures and video streams. In both cases, you have a model that classifies and detects a list of objects. The different pre-trained models come from Google and are for demonstration purposes only, meaning that they are not production quality models, but excellent to get started. Now, let me show you how it works. We use our IMX 8M Mini Microcom Developers Kits as the demonstration platform and the Edge TPU is mounted in the M.2 connector. Let's start with a classical example, bird classification, where found objects, specific birds in this case, are printed together with probability. The model that we use now is trained to recognize 1000 different birds. I just follow the instructions in our document now. We run the script, classify image, and the input image is as shown. It takes the Edge TPU about 3.5 milliseconds to classify the picture to be a scarlet macaw with 77% probability. The classification is run five times and as seen, the first round takes a little longer since the model must be loaded. Now let's test how long it would take to run the same model on the Cortex-A53 cores without hardware acceleration, in other words. As seen, it takes 141 milliseconds, so about 40 times longer, if the model is already loaded. And the result is the same, 
just as can be expected. Let's test another picture. This is a rook. We get an answer in 2.9 milliseconds that the bird is indeed a rook with 78% probability. Now let's move on to object detection where the location of identified objects is shown. Here we have a picture with an apple and an orange. We run the script detect image and we get the result in about 15 milliseconds that an apple has been detected with 93% probability and an orange with 96% probability. Their locations have also been identified with red rectangles. The same object detection takes about 300 milliseconds to execute on the Cortex-A53 cores. Now let me demonstrate how a face detection model works on a video stream. We have a USB camera turned at me and an HDMI display that we record. We run the script detect and as seen, every frame from the camera takes about 9 milliseconds to process. The frame rate is limited to 15 frames per second by the camera, not the edge TPU. Let's have a look at the video. As seen, I'm classified as a person with and without the glasses. Here I turn around to see where the face detection no longer can detect the face. And here I test if the model can detect more than one face. The iconic pictures of Stephen Jobs. When I turn the pictures, you see that the detection is lost at about 45 degrees angle. This is an example to show that the model has most likely not been trained for this orientation of the faces. Now you are up and running and can continue with designing a model that would be useful for your application. This is a complex subject and will require a significant effort. It is not in the scope for this getting started video. If you want to dive deeper into this subject, I recommend watching tutorials on machine learning in general and TensorFlow in particular. Here are some sources for more information. The links can also be found in the description below. As always, if you have questions and want to discuss your project, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching.